And I like what the president of the African Development Bank has said. Investing. Investing in our shareholders. The largest shareholders of, our, of Africa is the young people. What must we do? We must continuously invest in the young people, number one, in their education. In Kenya, for example, this year, we had the largest budget, 630 billion Kenya shillings, the largest since independence to fund our education. Because that creates people, that creates a young, uh, uh, young people in Kenya who have the requisite knowledge, who can articulate their issues, who can drive their growth. That's number one. Making sure that they are skilled. This year, we doubled the budget for our TVETs, for our technical and evaluation. We doubled the budget almost, maybe, we actually increased by 70% for our universities. Again, to invest in our young people so that they are ready to tackle the challenges of the future. And number three, what um, Adesina said, investing and believing in young people, not looking at them as part of the problem, but looking at them as part of the solution, not looking at them as risky, not looking at them with uh, the eyes of they don't have collateral. It is the reason we are going to invest. We've already started the journey. We've invested the first 15 billion. We have another 10 billion this year that we are investing in making sure that young people have access to credit. The Hustler Fund in Kenya, 67% of the borrowers on the Hustler Fund are below the age of 35. The Hustler Fund today has lent 35 billion. And I saw one of the newspapers say the other day that the government, uh, that 3 billion has not been paid. That is true. But 3 billion out of 35 billion lent, I would take another risk with the young people of Kenya. I would do it again. I would do it again. Because slowly we are turning the corner. The Hustler Fund today does not need any collateral. You don't have to know nobody. You don't have to know the, 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 your, your village uh, head. Or you don't have to have a fat relative or a tall friend. You just need a phone and yourself. And I have kept on saying, you need a committee of two, your phone and yourself, and you have access to some measure of credit. We're scaling that up now by another 10 billion shillings, and it speaks to what Adesina was saying, investing in the ideas of our young people, investing in and believing in, in the young people of, 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 of Kenya as we do of the young people of, of this uh, globe. And... To go to the question, my good friend, I said, uh, from uh, Morocco, where are we taking this into the global stage? What financing are we looking for? It is the reason why we are saying today our debt as a continent is in the region of $700 billion. We are paying every year about $70 billion in terms of servicing interest and servicing debt. Many countries are going down the route of debt distress. Already, nine countries in Africa are down the cliff. Thirteen are classified as high risk. Another 17 are classified as a moderate uh, risk. Debt distress is a, is, a, is a big juggernaut that is threatening the future of our continent and the future of our development and prosperity. Number two, we need to think about new and design, let me say, design new financing instruments. And I'm very happy that the young people in this Africa Youth Summit uh, 2023 have said, we need a green bank where more voices, more uh, those of us who are not represented in the current multilateral uh, development banks 
uh, we are not represented at the moment, where we will be represented, where we will have a voice, where the young people of our continent, the greatest st st uh, stakeholders of our continent, will have a voice. That is where we need to take this. We need to reform the current multinational development banks and we need to redesign a new green bank that makes sure that we have resources that not only fund our growth and green development, but it is done so fairly. It is done so with speed and it is done so with affordable interest. In fact, I dare say, like we say in Kenya, mambo ni matatu. Number one, it must be with speed. It takes inordinate time to access credit. Number two, it must be at scale. Sometimes you get little monies here and there that cannot make any meaning. And number three, it must be affordable. So it must be, number one, it must be with speed, it must be at scale, and it must be affordable. Mambo ni matatu. Yeah. Thank you, Your Excellency. And I would yeah. like to unlock on the risk component as well. Yeah, um, let, let me say that uh, 